all right what is going on everyone and welcome back to more black desert so today was patch day and there's a lot of cool stuff that was added um a lot of quality of life things in my opinion uh classes got changed not dark knight but some other classes did and we'll talk about that in another video but what i wanted to talk about today was the additional marnie's realm uh grind spots so we're gonna look at the patch notes right now i have this pulled up and basically today they added like 13 new spots and what i want to do is talk about which ones i think are worth doing and in my experience some of these spots are contested as in like if you go there there's probably going to be another person there and which ones are generally like open where you don't need the marnie realm and in my experience there are some spots that are just straight up better to do outside of the marnie realm but yeah, let's look at all of them and I'll give you my opinions. So I'm going to talk about this as if we are not on the season servers because uh, that's where a lot of the stuff is going to be as well. And so, yeah, let's start from the very beginning. Um, so the three here down in the Valencia spots, these three Bashams, Nagas and uh, basically Fogans. These spots are pretty uncontested, which means that you probably won't run into other people that often. And if you find that one rare person there, just swap channels and then you get another open spot for yourself. So I don't think that using the Marnie Realm for these three spots is that important. <clears throat> you could do it if you just want that peace of mind, I guess. But generally, if you're going to grind multiple spots and you only have your one hour, at least for now, until they make the change for the regenerating time then I think that those three, you probably won't find any other people there. Uh, Fattest Habitat is down by the Kama Sylvia thing. I believe we talked about that in our other video. And if I were to show you on the map where that is, I believe it is somewhere around here, right? And this spot in particular is good from like level 56 to 58. And that's very specific because that's really what it is for. And I think after that, you probably won't need to be there. And realistically, I haven't seen people in this spot in literally years since they came out. So do you need the Marnie Realm for it? Probably not. You won't find any people there. And if you do, once again, swap to another channel and uh, I think you'll be fine. So yeah, that's cool. Um, Let's go back. All right. So next we have Bandit's Lair and Crescent Shrine Kadri Ruins. Um, these are all spots down in the Alta Nova going like up and into the desert. So Gahaz actually is a pretty decent spot. Um, I don't really think it's contested, but you might find a few people there. So if you just want the open area, I actually think I want to test this one later and just see what their radius of you know how like when you go into a marnie realm there's like a black wall that you can't pass um so gahaz is a large grind spot where you go from under the bridge all the way up to the bridge and then it's like kind of like an eight loop and that's the grind spot and then there's also the cliff rotation which is far like east of it so i kind of wonder which one they picked over there but in my experience, Gahaz used to be pretty good back in the day, but this was also before, like, Thomas Sylvia even came out. So I feel like there might be a few people there, just if they watch, like, really old videos of other content creators and stuff. But I don't think it's really contested. So, like, there's multiple rotations there. And this one, I don't think you'll have problems, but it might be an okay thing to use the Marnie Realm for. Um... Crescent Shrine, I don't think anyone grinds there because, like, if you are 140 AP, chances are you're not going to be in the desert grinding Crescent. You're going to be literally anywhere else. And uh, so I'm glad they added all these spots. Like, that's a good thing. But I just don't think it's, like, worth your time using it there because if you wanted to grind there, no one's going to be contesting you. Uh, Kadri Ruins. Now... In my experience, well, actually, all of these have gatekeepers, but, like, I think they changed it, and I haven't done it in multiple years. So, I think Kadri's is one of those spots where people go because 
they're looking for artifacts with the all damage reduction and all evasion artifacts. So if I were to look at this, let's uh, show you. Um, Monster Zone, Kadri. So Crescent, or not Crescents, Kadri rings are for the DP builds. And I think that's notable. Everything else here is like, there's nothing really worth doing here, except for going for these artifacts. And if you wanted a Spectre's Energy, just because you wanted to make a Black Star or something, I do believe that Thornwood is actually a better spot for it. So if you are able to grind Thornwood, it's probably better than Kadri. So that's about it. Uh, next, what do we have? Trader's Graveyard. I don't think anyone really goes there that much. I believe that is down in the Calpheon zone. And it's one of those things. I think if I... Wait, is this Trader's Graveyard? This is Soldier's Grave. It's like two different things that I kind of get confused with. But I'm pretty sure... <clears throat> Let me just uh, mark it. Trader's Graveyard. Where is that? Yeah, okay, so I was right. It is down in Calpheon near Hex. Um, I'm going to be honest. Marie's Cave is a pretty decent spot to level early on. But I don't think people are, like, actively there past that point. And if you are 160 AP, chances are there's a lot of better things you could be doing. And so, yeah, that's that. Hold on. Okay, so next, what do we have? Um, Prodi's Cave. That one is out in the ocean. It's on one of the islands. It is, I know I have the little thingy up, but here it is. Prodi Cave is around where? Okay, there it is. It's right here. So to give you an idea, of where it is. This is Ilya Island. This is Party Cave. It's not a bad spot. I just don't think people are going to go out of their way to go into the middle of the ocean and grind here. Unless there's an event that drops like infinite potion pieces. So <clears throat> chances are you'll be fine. You don't need the Marnie Realm there, but I'm glad they added it. Next we have Centaur's Herd. This is probably one of the most contested spots for new players. Um, the reason why Centaur's is really good is because it just gives a lot of silver an hour. So, like, I'm pretty sure everyone is actually excited. Uh, Centaurs has a Marnie Realm now. Because if you do your one hour there, Centaurs is like, what, at least 600 mil an hour? At least. And you do have to use Agris. But, like, for someone within the, like, 190 AP zone, getting 600 mil an hour is pretty good. It, it's, like, comparable to, like, high-end grind spots, more or less. So I think this is the number one spot for like beginners to mid-tier players. And so now that there's a Marnie Realm here, I'm assuming that everyone is going to be using it there. So yeah, I think it's really good that they added it. Um, yeah, I, it's a really good change. Next, we have Kratuga Ancient Ruins. To be honest, I, I've grinded there quite a bit, and I don't really see that many people there. And if I did, I'd swap channels, and then I'll usually get an open spot. I think it's a good thing that they added the Marnie Realm there just because you don't have to do that. You get like a free hour to yourself. But like there weren't that many people, but I think this might be one that could have some people there. <clears throat> and um, so Ash Forest, this is actually a really good one they added uh, for all of you endgame players, myself included. As you guys know, when you do Ash Forest, they added the Dekia's Lantern, right? And... Sometimes when people pop their deck as lanterns and figure out they can't do it really early, they just leave. And then someone else comes to the grind spot and then they're just like, oh, surprise. Now I have to fight these void touched um, ghosts. And then now suddenly the grind spot just doesn't work for anyone for like 20 minutes. So I think it's good. Um, I think usually most people at the higher end grind spots, at least the people that I encounter, all of us are like really respectful because we know that high end grind spots when you can get just get deleted in a second and uh, like people usually ask you how long you're going to be there. It's not like I 
I rarely see duel for spots at the very high end spots unless it's like Olin's or something. But it's more of like everyone's kind of respectful knowing that's a high end spot. So yeah, it's I do see people quite often, but it's not like, oh, I should worry about getting flagged unless you're an Arsha, but then that's a different story. Um But I think it's good just because you can grind at least an hour in peace. And you can guarantee you don't have to worry about people popping the deck he is and getting a surprise instant death when that happens. So I think that's good. I will test it out later once again. And uh, Crypt of Resting Thoughts. <clears throat> Arguably one of the hardest spots non Dekia right now. It is like probably comparable to it. And I think that this spot, you probably won't have any issues with the place being overcrowded just because there aren't too many people within the, like the same gear range of you and uh well like there obviously is a lot of people that are super geared in this game but it's one of those things where i don't think that every single server is going to be like full at a 300 plus spot so chances are if you are there I believe that Crypt of Resting Thoughts is better to grind in a group. I, it's a solo spot, but if you grind there with a Shy, your effectiveness is generally better. So you can't go into Marnie's Realms with other people, obviously. So I don't know. Uh, it's one of those weird ones that I'm not sure why they added, but I'm like, I'm not upset that they did. So yeah, that's what I wanted to talk about today. Just a quick video talking about my thoughts on all the new grind spots and <clears throat> well not grind spots but the marnie realms so yeah that's all just wanted to say i have one week left until the 16th of our affiliate code so if you want to use my code for any a coins and all that stuff I'd, i get a small portion of it and i'd appreciate it so thanks so much for watching i'll see you later